we can introduce another concept, which is grouping and components. Groups and components are equivalent of a AutoCAD block. So if we were to create a group of geometry, it will be handled separately and distinctly in SketchUp from other geometry. So normally, if we were to draw on top of this, it would subdivide the face, but it didn't. It created a, another surface because this is in a group. To go into a group and edit it, just double click and you're now inside that group. Components are the same as groups, except if you modify one component, all of the other component copies are modified as well. So for example, this is a group. If we were to create a copy, and then create a component, and make a copy of that. As we modify one component, when you enter into the component editor, the other copies of the components will be highlighted differently than all of the other um, inactive geometry, which indicates that we will be modifying that copy of the component. Um, but if you modify a group, the other copies aren't modified.